Israeli forces surround Gaza City on the mission to destroy Hamas. Many, particularly on the left here, are saying that Hamas and its willingness to engage in terror doesn't represent the views of the Palestinian people. But I want to know, on the whole, is that actually true? Now, most of the fair media players will continue to distinguish between Hamas terrorists and ordinary Palestinian civilians. I'm going to continue doing it at all times. Remember. Many of these civilians are being used as human shields by Hamas. They were taxed and essentially robbed by Hamas to fund lavish lifestyles of the terror group's leadership. All of that we've talked about on this show and remains true. And in discussing the October 7th attack and the ensuing conflict, the White House has clearly made the distinction as well. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. Hamas uses Palestinian civilians as human shields and innocent Palestinian families are suffering greatly because of them. Yes, Hamas does not represent Palestinians technically. Following wins in 2006 in an election, Hamas then seized power by force the next year, leaving Gaza citizens with little say. But if given the ability to democratically elect a new leader for the first time in nearly two decades, turns out a large majority of Palestinians would seemingly vote for Hamas or another radical extremist group. Recent polling from a West Bank-based research group, West Bank, out just weeks before the October 7th attack, showed that of the Palestinians polled in Gaza and the West Bank, quote, if new presidential elections were held today and only two candidates, the more moderate Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas and top Hamas political chief Ismail Haniya, Abbas would receive 37 percent, and Haniya 58. That's in an overall vote among Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank. But if you actually just start to look at the Gaza Strip, the vote for Abbas is 33, Haniya 64. While in the West Bank, Abbas gets 43, Haniya 50. As Substack writer Jordan Schachtel concluded, quote, Hamas is, in fact, representative of the people it rules over in Gaza. Clearly, the Palestinian people don't want the Palestinian Authority in charge, even though the U.S. clearly does. This week, Secretary of State continuing to talk about the Palestinian Authority leading if Israel defeats Hamas. What would make the most sense would be for a um, effective and... Um, revitalized Palestinian authority to have uh, governance and ultimately security responsibility for Gaza. Well, that may make the most sense, but again, that isn't apparently what the citizens of Gaza wanted or seemingly want. The Palestinian Authority is deeply unpopular with its own people and has already said it has no interest in assuming power in Gaza with the help of Israel. Now, it's true of parliamentary elections, a little different question were held, Overall support for Abbas is more moderate party is slightly more than that for Hamas. But in Gaza, 44% would vote for Hamas, 32% for Fatah. The only leader more popular than the Hamas leader who was included in the polling is jailed Palestinian terrorist Marwan Barghouti, who is currently imprisoned on five murder charges stemming from attacks, including suicide bombings and shootings he coordinated against Israeli civilians. He was supported by 60 percent, 37 percent for Haniya. Let's go back to Thane Rosenbaum, professor at Torah University, columnist for the Jewish Journal of Los Angeles, frequent commentator on Jewish affairs and the Middle East. Um, how do you think that these polling numbers would change now? Because these were taken before October 7th. Dan, it would be higher. You mean more support for Hamas? Way more support. This, for among the Palestinian people, in, even in the West Bank, is a colossal victory on October 7th and continues to reinforce the idea that Hamas is all in and dedicated to killing Israelis and providing all of Israel as an eventual Palestinian homeland. So it's the fact that they perceive to have succeeded so greatly would only lead more Palestinians to support them. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.